Hey guys, it's Shonda. So, see this door here? It says open slowly. It's a lot going on back there. Come take a look. The door doesn't open all the way. This is temporary. one boy just one I'm hoping we got one boy a boy for the khakis as well so that we can catch our own eggs as time goes on but yeah so this happened today Sydney wanted ducks so bad now I kept saying we are not getting ducks we are not getting ducks ducks are so messy I mean look at the bathroom to shower already they've been in here all but 10 minutes Holy cow. We are not getting ducks. So I told her, because I just knew he would say no. I said, you have to get permission from my husband. I told her, you have to ask Kevin. Well, he said yes. So here we are. From tractor supply. Don't eat the paper. So they need something to play with, I see. So I have to do some more homework on these guys and see what to do for them. So glad they found the water and everything. The food was fine. I did not want to buy any new like equipment, so you can just use one of the black rubber tubs that we had outside. So the other animals that I had extras of and a little short Tupperware bowl. Seems to be working just fine. So I finally got this set up better where I can, everything has better lighting and I can reach things more. 
So I went back and forth with these two trays. First I had them going long ways this way, you know, this way, one here and one in the back, but it was so hard for me to get to the ones in the back. So I've turned them around, so now everything is going front to back on all four of these, or actually all six of these trays, so that I can reach them a little bit better and I can do the lights a little bit better. I've got some two by fours and the grow light boxes that I saved to raise these up higher so they're closer to the light. So I'm much happier with this setup um, than before. And as you can see, all the lettuce is doing very well. It was, le they were leaning because they were doing, you know, doing a lot more leaning. They're still leaning a little bit, like these ones on this far end here, and the one on this far end here. This has not germinated yet. What are these? Golden, Golden Baby's Butterhead. So I'm not sure why those haven't germinated yet. But, again, I overseeded all of these, so something should be coming up in those. These are all doing well. I said they're leaning a little bit, so I'll try to rotate these, I guess, every other day so they don't lean so much. But the light is right over them, but it's focused in the middle, so it's hard to get the ones on the ends. The only way to rectify that is if I put two over one, but that will require me to get two or three more grow lights and that's just not in the cards right now so yeah grow station upgrade so that I can better reach everything so these ones you can see that I have them raised on the ends back in the back and lowered in the front because this is where you know how the plants have grown. The ones in the back were planted before the ones in the front here. So they're a little bit behind. Just by, let's see, when was that? Tomatoes were done 216 and the other stuff was done January 24th. So they've got a little jump on them. So I'm pleased with this. growing nicely. I have not gotten anything from the pepper cubanel and the Casper eggplant variety. Which you can see there. So I put more seeds in them. They were both sown on January 24th. So I put some more seeds in them. We'll see if it's the seeds that, that they're not germinating or not. What else? That's everything. Nineteen for the blue quail, and you still only have the six. So I am pretty much going to call this tonight that we are not getting any more. So the rest of these twenty eggs, I'm guessing, are not going to hatch. Here are the Americana cuties. They're still doing well. They're getting lots of. Um, time shavings in their water so I'm constantly cleaning that out. They're doing great. All right so um according to my friend Kira at That Everyday Kira I call it the Kira theory. I can look at these and tell which ones are hens and which ones are roosters. You stop picking on her. So depending on the tail feathers and the wings is how you can tell. So looking at these, I think I have three hens and one rooster, which is perfect because it's exactly what I was hoping for. And the way that I'm thinking that is, according to Kira, is the three that have tail feathers. So 
see these tail feathers here, the ones that stick out. Only the three darker ones have that. As you can see, the lighter one here is just more buff. It's not, it's, it's just like a fluff, fluffiness. It's not, it, no, no tail feathers stick out on that one. And the other way is the wings. Notice the wings on that light one, how they're shorter because they don't have an extra layer of wing compared to the one here. You see how that wing comes out? If I was to pick them up and open it up, but I only have one hand to do this because I have my phone in my hand, so I'm not gonna go through that part. But if they don't have the extra layer of wing feathers, it tends to be a rooster. And all three of the other ones have that extra wing, that extra layer of the wing. And you can just see the difference in them. So I think we have success on what we, what I was hoping for when I spontaneously bought these four chicks. I think you're on to something. <laughs> well, it's the end of day 19, I'm sorry, day 18, and we still only have the six. So one of them is like super yellow. It's so cute. It's so funny because the first hatch that we did, now they're three weeks old and they're much bigger. You forget how tiny they are. So these ones, I'm looking at them, I'm like, oh my God, they're so tiny again. But you just kind of forget. What's that yellow baby at? Come out. Got my kind of the heater. There, she, there it is. Not my little boy or girl, because it has like the, the dark strap in the back. It's really cute. <laughs> Silas. Hey, Silas, come back. Say hi. 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 Say hi, Spencer. Hi. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> hi, Mommy. <laughs> That's my mom. I'm your mommy. That's right. Oh, Silas, I put your foot in there. Oh, my goodness. This boy. All right, let's check out the older quail. They are crazy. Drink a lot of 
smooth. They are not getting any more heat. It's really warm in this bathroom, so they're doing fine in here just without that, which is good because we have to put heat on the other three. <laughs> so, and we only have three heaters. Um, well, four if you count the one that's outside and the chicken coop. can't tell for sure but so far based on the feathers these look like mostly girls like I don't see the that red chest um, that you see on the boys they all have the specks but the girls have more specks and these seem to have mostly the specks I don't see that red that red feathering that boys have so we'll see but yeah they're three weeks old so I'll definitely be able to tell by next week that's for sure. So, I had six eggs that hatched. The 20 eggs that did not hatch are in this bucket. I mean, here's an egg. This is what it looks like. Yep, there's stuff on it. That's how it came. So I'm going to open these up and see what's inside. Mommy, mommy. Mommy. Yep. I hope most of these are yolks because that means that they were never fertilized in the first place. That would mean that my hatch rate mommy, mommy. is not based on 26. Yo. This is good news. All right, so six of these eggs had fully developed birds in them that did not pip and did not hatch at all. And uh, was it two of them had what I would say is early, uh, I guess early miscarriage, I'm not sure what you call that. They didn't fully develop um, so you can see where something started to develop and then it stopped very early on so we could have had six more chicks um, seven eight of them had eight of them were fertilized out of these 20 eight of them were fertilized so the other ones here were not even fertilized Thank you. 